Hello listeners and viewers at home. A very happy Sunday to you all. You are welcome on board to today's Bible study wherever you are. Either you are listening to us through the radio broadcast or you are watching us through the social media. I pray that today the Lord Almighty will bless every one of us in Jesus name. Amen. Venerable Ademi Ogunbi is my name. By God's grace, I will be anchoring today's Bible study. And here with me, by my right hand side, I have a father in the Lord, the Venerable Sunday Olumu Iwajewala. That the Venerable Sunday Olumu Iwajewala, you are welcome on board, sir. Thank you, the coordinator. And also by my right hand side, I have with me a mommy. Mrs. Janet Olubomi Binuyo. Mommy, Mrs. Janet Olubun Binuyo, you are welcome on board. Thank you. Uh, how was today's service in your church? Well, bless God, sir. Hallelujah. Mm. Listeners and viewers at home, you can text message us or WhatsApp us on this number 081 471 94912. Again, 081 471 94912. Please, Venerable Jawala, pray for us. Lead us, O Lord, into this Bible study today. Amen. And not only today, but all the days of our lives. Amen. Through the mercies of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. People of God, we are on page 22 in uh, today's uh, Bible study. And the theme we have been looking at is God's principle in the marketplace. God's principle in the marketplace. And the topic that we want to deliberate upon today is Christian conduct in business. That is humility. So we want to study humility in relation to uh, buying and selling, and let me put it in this way, in business uh, transaction. And our text is taken from Philippians chapter 2, from verse 5 to 11, also Proverbs chapter 15, verse 33, and the last one is First Peter chapter 5, verse 6. Please be honorable. Read the first one for us, Adadi. Thank you. I'm reading Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. Philippians 2, 5 to 11. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ, who though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God, a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of man, and being found in woman form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is, that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus Christ, Every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the head, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 15, verse 33. The fear of the Lord is instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. The first Peter chapter 5, verse 6. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exhort you in due time. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Listeners and viewers at home, we are on study 11. Let's go straight to our aims. Our aims are, number one, to teach us as Christians to learn to empty ourselves to earthly glory and be humble. Number two, 
to stir up a heart of humility in us by emulating Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, as our supreme example. Introduction. Humility simply means loneliness of hearts and obedience to God. It is the direct opposite of pride. Humility is a great virtue and asset that comes from the heart, which becomes a very useful in our everyday spiritual and social interaction with God. And not only with God Almighty, but with the people that we are interacting with. So therefore, humility plays a better role in any business transaction. For you to have more customers and for you, you know, to have profit, genuine profit, you need to be humble. You don't need to be arrogant or to be proud. I pray the Lord Almighty will open our spiritual eyes as we are studying together in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, questions for discussion. Uh, the first question here goes to our mommy, Mrs. Janet Binuyo. Mommy, from your own point of view, uh, how, how can we describe or define the word humility? And I wanted to measure some characteristics of a proud person as we have in, in, in some uh, Bible text that we have for today's studies, Ma. Thank you, the coordinator. Humility simply means the direct opposite of pride. Okay, the direct opposite. Okay, what an opposite now? Yes. Humility. Pride. Then pride. Yes. Okay, Ma. To be humble is to free oneself from arrogance. Humility means... Uh, you know, putting yourself in the second position, putting other uh, yes. people first. And um, you make sure you respect other people's uh, opinion. opinion. You, 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 you don't behave as if you are, the, you are the only one in the society. So humility means opposite of pride. Okay. Thank you very much, Ma. So how that if... Uh, is there an addition to the definition given by mommy? Well, uh, mommy has rightly said everything, but in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 19, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 19, the Bible says, For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, hmm. and the discernment of the discerning I will tie words. That is to say, it's for one to be humble simply from the biblical point of view is to free yourself from the destruction that might come from being too knowledgeable or, or the, because whatever we have is from God. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Right, sir, that question number two goes to you, sir. Discuss what humble living involves. Thank you, sir. I want to thank you, the coordinator and attack and mother for the first answer that he has given. She has given. Now, as regards the involvement of humble living, especially for Christians who engage in business. Okay. Number one, they must put on the attitude of childlike. You see, in Matthew chapter 18, verses 1 to 4, Jesus used a child as an example that if anybody would do anything will achieve will make it you see the greatest the the, the 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 target or the goal of any human being on that is to make heaven yes and that's why jesus said when your, your greatest is to make heaven and if you want to enter the kingdom you must be like the child and if anybody wants to achieve something in life Especially for businessmen and women, they must have childlike attitude. Mm. Not everything you respond to. Mm. Not every every customer. Many 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 women who are, who call themselves Christian, they just they harass people. Once they come to their, if, if you see them in the market, if you see them, you are coming to the market. If you price the, the yes. goods and you, and you, you, you don't agree with them, they will just now begin to say, 
they begin to to to, to, talk, to talk you down. Mm. Oh, Lucy, <laughs> you see, you now begin, and you see, look mm. at the look at the modules they are using. Yes. The identity of their church is being is being on the on the on the on the, on the no module. Number two is you have to repent in repentance to your to your sins and eat eat discussion. That one we say that one. The, the comparison is in that Luke chapter eighteen from verses eleven down 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 below. There the in that one the man Sadducee the man of the Sadducees came to God and said, oh Lord, please have mercy upon me, mm -hmm. unlike that of Pharisee. Yes, and then that and that, that was why the Pharisee Sadducee man was able to get justification and right. He was he was be able to pardon, and his answer was God said he was well received in the sight of God. Number three, it has to do with submission before God. Under the submission before God, we have we have it that not a prophet. You see now, under submission, prophet Huda. When we read very well the Isaiah, the one the, the portion of the second chronicle, prophet prophetess Huda prophesied to the king of Judah yes. that they will be destroyed. Yeah. But now the, 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 the king and other people they now re they, they, they repented and they prayed. And God said, God now said, when well, God has repented. You see, mm. if anybody, if anybody has a spirit of humility, humility. God normally repents. Mm. God Almighty. Yes, sir. And that is what we need in our nation now. Mm. We, we, so that God can repent against mm. the evil he has proposed in our mind. So, so number four has to do with singing God's praise in prayer. You see, Second Chronicles chapter seven verse fourteen also say, "If my people that are called by my name yes. that, that repent and they shall seek mm. my face, I will hear them." Yes. If there's any time for you, because you see now, I was making so briefly the coordinator. I was cracking joke. I was when I was leading the, the first day of the month uh, that we had yeah. the first yes, day yeah. private time prayer. I told mm. the people, I said. Let's pray because May was difficult for everybody, and mm. everybody said yes. So I said it was difficult, that's mm -hmm. so that June will not yes. be like that month. You see, that means that even in business circle, in religious circle, in any area, we need prayer, and that is part. We should not say our wisdom can yeah, do it. No, no, you guys no, no, no. don't say your wisdom can mm. do it. It's only prayer. And finally, sir, um, be, 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 let, let me just cut you short, sir. Yes, that is. Because um, uh, some people believe that uh, it's only when the business is not flourishing that uh, they need a uh, prayer. So, are, are you telling us that whether the business uh, flourishes or not? Thank you, sir. That, uh, we should you see, sir, very, very germane point, the coordinator, daddy. I normally tell our people, I say, I said, the reason why many people are going from one mountain to another or Agbala to Agbala is that yes. they don't know that prayer is like a saving money. It's, it's a saving money. Hmm. Sir, it is when you turn Jesus Christ to magic. To, to magic. magic That's why you now go from one thing, you now see me. But prayer, prayer is what you keep in a savings account. So by the time you need it, you go there to go and withdraw. That is what prayer does. That's what. So people shouldn't wait that it is when their business run down that they now go to pray. Yeah. It is out of arrogance that I say, yes. I say everything is going on. Yes. I don't need prayer now. Mm -hmm. When when the devil hits now, you will know. So don't wait till your business runs down before you pray. Listeners and viewers at home, as Daddy has said it, don't wait for your business for your business to run down to run down before you pray before you pray. That is pray and pray and pray. So, uh, mommy, let me just go straight to uh, to ask her mom whether he has to anything to buttress what her daddy has just said. Just that like he said, I don't want to quote wrongly, but there is a saying that says, pride goes before you fall. Mm. So if you are proud, then you are likely to fall. Mm. And it is, it is a, a pride that will make you not to pray. And you think... You are up to the task in everything. So everything needs prayer. prayer. So we need to pray. Okay, ma the Bible says pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. And um, well, obedience to God's word is part of it. Yes. So we need to be obedient to the word of God. So that uh, market men or women in your organization have time for prayer, have time to study your, uh, the word of God, and all this will make your uh, business uh, to flourish. I pray God Almighty will bless all our businesses and our, all our bless, uh, businesses shall flourish in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
uh, listeners and viewers at home, uh, you can always reach us by sending your text message or you WhatsApp us on this number 081-471-949-12. Thank you. So, Mommy, uh, let's go straight to the question number three. Uh, could you give us some evidences of humility uh, in the life of a believer? Yes, sir. Uh, let's just go straight to the Word of God. Ephesians 4, from chapter 4, verses 1 to 3. So, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, I beseech you, to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long sovereign, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. So, from here, we could see that we, as a Christian, we need to walk worthy of the calling. That is, we, 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 we must exhibit lowliness gentleness, long-suffering, bearing with one another in love. And then we should endeavor to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. So these are the evidences I could mention here. Daddy, is there any addition to that, what her mommy has just said? Well, uh, thank you. You see, as part of it, is that the way, it's part of humility, Application of it to our market men and women is the way they welcome customers. Mm -hmm. eh? The way they welcome customers. And that is why if you employ a sales girl, watch her, the way she welcomes the customer. Many, many customers have been chased away because of our arrogance. Mm -hmm. Then we now begin to achieve sip blame. That mm -hmm. I'm a Christian, I'm not making no, sense. Make Whereas to those people are the one, they are mm -hmm. doing juju. No. Our attitude has to change so that if you want to thrive in our business. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, I, I, I would like to throw the next question to you, sir. Yes, daddy. That um, uh, measure some benefits of humility. I'm calling on the Bible. That's James chapter 4, verse 6. It says, but it gives more grace. Therefore, it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, that is number one. If you are humble, you receive more grace. About there are more, there are, there are seven categories of grace, but mm. I won't discuss it this year because of our time. Yeah. But it gives you grace, grace to thrive, grace to excel. You see, it is the it is it is the grace of God. That is what Proverbs says yeah. that makes man to trade and make profits. Profit. Yes. So, so it is by the grace of God. That is number one. That's one of the benefits of humility. Number two, it attract, if you are humble, you attract more customers. Hmm. And finally, it makes by, by so doing through your grace, you make profit. Because if your territory is enlarged, yeah. you make gain. So we cannot, we cannot quantify humility to anything in business. Hmm. You cannot quantify humility with anything in business. Even not only in business, in any, any life and devil. Even in the ministry, in your home, if you are not humble, you will not, you just, you are not, you can't enjoy the life. If you are not humble with your guy, you cannot enjoy him. Yeah. So, humility, eh? if mommy doesn't, doesn't humble to me, you cannot enjoy me, she cannot enjoy me as husband. So, humility can never be traded with anything, sir. Thank you, sir. So, can I put it this way that humility is a key that opens uh, more blessings? Key of success. Baba. Key of success. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> the key of success. This humility. And there was that humility from the, our discussion today, humility is, is, the, key. is the key that opens, that opens success. Mm, yeah. So, please, let's try as much as possible to humble Assess. ourselves. Mommy, uh, before you ship in anything based on question number four, uh, as, as Daddy has said, rightly said, uh, can we say humility? Is humility stupidity? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> humility is not stupidity. 
Humility so, is obedience to God's word. Obedience to God's word. Thank you very much. Well, before we call it a day, uh, let me just ask our mom anything that you your advice to our businessmen and businesswomen at home. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I just want to use my experience in an area. There are two uh, business women. One is so naughty, so saucy. Anytime a customer gets to her, the way you, she will address the customer will put the customer away. But there is another one. Ah, you are welcome. Hey, Pelema, uh, is, is this this? Oh, no, other SLA. Just pay this. Uh, this one is even better. You can even use this. So the way she relates with customers, you will see customers line up mm -hmm. in front of you while the other one will be watching. So humility is very, very important. Okay, thank you, Ma. So our uh, uh, dad at home, our uh, daddy, Venerable uh, Sunday, Jewola, your advice to our listeners and viewers at home, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll just put it the way, but I will not give experience. I'll just put it in a simple way. Your ability can make you to gather money to start a business. But it is only your humility that will make you to sustain that business. Mm -hmm. you, that's why many, well, coordinator, that's why many, many women, they go to Napo, they mm -hmm. borrow money. Yeah. They, even thousands. But between three months, because of the point mommy has just said, mm -hmm. money is gone. Mm. You will now be chasing away from one place to another. If when she balances that one, she borrows another one. She buys another one. ability. Your ability, you can gather money to start business. But it is only your humility that will help you to sustain. Even if you have humility, your customer who, who say wanted to buy say, why? Why is your business going down now? Can even can even, yes, can yeah. even borrow you money yes. to do business. Let us be humble in our dealing. Thank you very much, sir. In conclusion. The present spiritual and political state in Nigeria requires Christian who will be ready to submit all things unconditionally at the feet of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God is seriously looking for humble hearts that he can use as a vessel unto honor. Therefore, a Christian who is not consistently humble cannot be continually used by God. I pray none of us will be rejected vessel in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our memory verse is taken from Philippians chapter 2 verse 6. Philippians chapter 2 verse 6. Please read after me. Who being in very nature of God who being, who being in the very nature, nature of God, God did not consider equality with God. Did, did not consider, consider equality with God. God. Something to be grasped. Something, Something to, to be, be grasped. grasped. So let's go once again. Who, who being in the very nature of God did, did not consider equality with God. God. Something to be grasped. Uh, thank you once again. Uh, Viewers at home and listeners at home, I want to say a very big thank you for listening and watching today's uh, program. And I want to appreciate uh, Bible study leaders who we study the Word of God together today. I want to thank our daddy, daddy, the Venerable Sunday Olumuiwa Jawala. Daddy, thank you for your coming. God bless you, sir. You are blessed, Dad. I'm optimistic that any time we call upon you, surely you will answer us. Definitely, it's the work of God. We must not suffer. Thank you very much, sir. And also, I want to thank our mommy, Mrs. Janet Oluwabumi Binoyo. Mommy, thank you for your coming. I hope that any time we call upon you, surely you will answer us. Definitely. God bless you, ma. Uh, once again, I thank both of you, sir, for your meaningful timely and a biblical contribution towards uh, today's uh, Bible study. Mm -hmm. I thank our studio crew. Thank you for being there for us. And I pray that anytime we shall meet again, uh, all of us, I pray, shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Till we meet next week, please remain cool, calm, and collected. Let us pray.
Father in heaven, we thank you for the grace you have given us. Thank you, Father, we have studied the word. Thank you, God, because you have taught us today to be more humble. Lord, we ask you that your Holy Spirit will teach us to be more humble in Jesus' name. Amen. That even our businesses shall boom in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for all our listeners at home that God himself will bless you richly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In this year, 2021, your business shall flourish in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And shall, well, shall be well with every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you everlasting for asking our prayer. Blessed be your holy name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray together. Amen.